Hello everyone! It was last year in this same tournament, uh, the Isle of Man uh, Open International Tournament, that uh, Ramesh Babu Pragnananda uh, defeated Axel Bachmann, a 2650 Grandmaster. And uh, he does it again. Uh, this is, uh, well, the same tournament, it's 2017 and it's round 5. And uh, Prago defeated uh, David Howell, a uh, Grandmaster rated 2701 at the time this game was played. So uh, let's see this uh, this game. And uh, I don't know, uh, I, I, I don't know uh, how many GM norms Young Prago has, uh, but uh, if, I mean, he seems to be winning a lot of games. Uh, he's probably very close to achieving his Grandmaster title. And uh, I read that he has about uh, six more months uh, to break Sergei Karakin's record to become the youngest Grandmaster ever in chess history. So let's see this game. Prago is white and uh, Howell is black. We have e4, c6. Uh, the Karo Khan defense, d4, d5, and we have e5, uh, the advanced variation. Bishop to f5, knight to f3, now e6, uh, bishop to e2, uh, knight to e7, uh, Prago castles, c5, uh, c4, uh, d captures on c4, knight to a3, now going for that c4 pawn, uh, which can't really be defended, and uh, well, it's not really in black's interest to defend this pawn, he should go for some development. So we have knight b to c6, knight captures on c4, and uh, knight to d5. And here we have d captures on c5, bishop captures on c5, and bishop to g5, now with an attack on the queen. Uh, queen to c7, uh, we have rook to c1, uh, howl castles, uh, we have queen to b3, and h6. And here we have a very interesting move uh, by young Pragnananda. Well, the move that comes to mind here is, of course, the bishop to e3, your bishop is attacked, and you want to get it out of the way. Uh, but Prago plays uh, an interesting move. He, pl he plays knight from c4 to e3, and uh, he leaves this bishop under attack, but now he's threatening to capture uh, Howell's bishop on c5. And, uh, well, what do you do here? Um, it, it seems that h captures on g5 is not that bad at all for black. For example, knight captures on d5, a bishop captures on f2 with check, because this bishop was hang hanging on c5, uh, rook captures on f2, e captures on d5, and for example, queen captures on d5, and, uh, well, this doesn't, this, this seems pretty okay for black. Uh, but Howell decided not to go for this, after knight to e3, he played bishop captures on e3. We have bishop captures on e3, knight captures on e3, and queen captures on e3. And we have queen to b6, uh, Howell offers the exchange of, qu of queens, and, well, Prago exchanges queens, I mean, uh, he's a 2500 player, I guess uh, exchanging queens and uh, doubling black's b-pawns b isn't that bad of a move. Uh, and a3, of course, now, uh, now blocking this rook here uh, on an open file. We have bishop to e4, uh, knight to d2, attacking the bishop on d4, uh, knight to d4, and we have rook f to e1. Uh, bishop to d5, we have... Uh, bishop to d3, now activating this bishop, uh, rook f to d8, and now rook to c3, uh, protecting this bishop and also uh, pre maybe preparing to double up on the c file. Uh, g5 by Howell and knight to e4. And here, well, you definitely don't want to allow this knight to, to get a hold of a square like d6 or f6, so uh, Howell captures it. Bishop captures knight, uh, bishop, uh, rook captures bishop on e4. And okay, it's a pretty equal endgame, a bishop against knight, although it's uh, it's it's not going to be that easy uh, to make this bishop uh, stronger than this knight. We have rook to a5, uh, b4, attacking the rook, rook to, rook to d5, now doubling rooks on the d-file, uh, bishop to c4, attacking the rook, rook 5 to d7, uh, bishop to f1, uh, preparing g3, and also not allowing any checks on d1 if the knight moves. Uh, knight to f5, and now g3. A rook to d1, king to g2, of course, and now rook to a1. And here, bishop goes back to d3. And now this, uh, well, this rook has infiltrated the white's position, but he's not really doing anything on a1. As long as this rook is uh, guarding this pawn on a3, that rook is, well, he's lost there. Uh, there isn't really any communication between uh, black's rooks. So we have king to g7, and now uh, Prago plays a very interesting move, he plays h4. And, uh, well, uh, uh, Howell captures, captures this pawn, although maybe, maybe a better move would be something like rook to a2 or knight to e7, perhaps. Uh, but he captures it, but now uh, 
uh, Prago has an in-between move. He plays rook to g4 with check. Uh, king goes to h7 and now captures the knight with check. We have e captures on f5 and now rook captures on h4. And now, well, this is this is a rook ending with the same number of pawns, but uh, uh, Howell's b pawns are doubled and also his f pawns are, are doubled. And this is a completely different story. As you all know, a, a rook's favorite meal is a doubled pawn. So we have rook to e8, uh, rook to c7, and now, well, uh, the threat is of course capturing this f pawn with check. Uh, depending what black plays, we'll be capturing the b pawn, uh, b7 pawn, b6 pawn. It's very easy to pick up these doubled pawns. Uh, so king to g7, not allowing this with check, uh, but still rook captures on b7, rook to e5, uh, rook captures on b6, and rook captures on a3. And now rook captures on h6. And okay, white is up a pawn, uh, but this uh, advantage is, uh, well, even bigger because this f pawn is doubled. Uh, rook to e4, and we have rook to h7 check. King to g8, uh, rook to h8 check, king back to g7, rook to h7 check, going for repetition of moves, uh, but Howell decides uh, not to go for this. He plays king to f8. We have rook to h8 with check, and now king to e7. Uh, rook to c8, uh, we have rook to b3, going for that pawn, and now rook to c4, uh, defending the pawn and also uh, offering the exchange of rooks. Uh, but we have rook to e5, and now rook to h7. This pawn is now defendant, and uh, all is well. Uh, rook to b5, now with a double attack on the b-pawn, uh, rook to c7 with check, king to e6, and now uh, rook to h6 with check, uh, f6, and now rook to c6 with check, king to e5, and now rook captures on f6. And uh, Howell captures the pawn, rook uh, 3 captures on b4. And uh, well, this is kind of the critical position of the game, as I think it was in this position that Prago missed the move rook c to d6. Uh, this move threatens uh, rook to e6 with checkmate. And well, only way to stop this would be to play f4, now simply g4. Again, the threat is rook to e6 with checkmate. <coughs> uh, you would stop this with f3, uh, king to g3, and now the king has to go to e4, and now, well, rook checks, king here, and now simply capturing this pawn <coughs> with a winning position, two, two extra pawns. Uh, but uh, Prago played differently after this, uh, uh, in this position he played rook f to e6 check. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, we have king to d4, uh, rook c to d6 check, rook to d5, now he exchanges rooks, king captures, uh, rook to e2, uh, we have f4, but of course not capturing as you don't want to double your own pawns, uh, rook to b3, now f3, and now it's only a matter of time before the king picks up this pawn. Uh, rook to b8, we have rook to e4, now the rook is coming for the pawn, rook to f8, and now king f2, rook to f7, king e2, rook f6, king d3, uh, rook f8, uh, rook a4, rook b8, rook to f4, capturing the pawn, and uh, well, we have rook to b3, now king e2, king e5, uh, rook to f5 with check, king d4, and king f2, and in this position uh, David Hall resigned the game as this is a, well, completely winning endgame for white. Uh, black can't really hope for anything here. <coughs> so yeah, uh, that's the game. That's, uh, this is uh, Pragnananda's uh, first victory against the 2700 player. And if any of you ha has an information how many GM norms uh, he has collected so far, uh, please do share in the comments. I'm very interested uh, to, know, to hear about his progress. And uh, I would like to thank uh, Michal Sablinski, Anthony Herzig, uh, Cody Stanley, and Guillermo Gutierrez takes Eira for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I appreciate it. And yeah, that's it for this game. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.